This video is not going very well. <laughs> yes, I'm filming a video today because my lovely best friend from Leeds, who you have seen in some of my videos, is here, Victoria. I'm going to do a little zoom in and say hi. <laughs> Uh, so introduce yourself, tell people about you and what you're studying and why you're here studying maths with me, yeah. except you're not doing maths. You give a little intro to the channel. No, this is a lot of pressure. It's not, go. Hi, I'm No, I can't, I can't. <laughs> Okay, I'll do it for you. Yeah, you do it for me. Okay. Can you cut that out? So, then? no. <laughs> it's just going to be raw footage. Um, so Victoria did maths with me at Leeds and we did three years together, didn't we? We met in second year and we are best friends. <laughs> Um, and when I ventured off to uh, Cambridge to do my masters in maths, Victoria got a fancy accounting job and is doing the ACA, which is the Chartered Accountant qualification, which is also what my eldest sister did, which is quite cool. So she's doing exams at the moment. What are your exams in? Tax compliance. Ta tax compliance. And financial management. And financial management. That sounds excellent. That's why we are both revising today. We were going to start this video earlier. We got up at six o'clock. And then with the prep, and we've been doing some work this morning. It is now quarter past nine, but then I forgot to film, so we are starting a bit late. But yeah, so this is going to be a day in the life of studying with a chartered accountant to be, and a math student, and also Jason's here as well. Everyone say hello to Jason. What do you do, Jason? You introduce yourself to the YouTube. I'm doing an MPhil in education. He's doing an MPhil in education, and what does that entail? Can you educate us on that? No. Okay, that's lovely. <laughs> so one of my plans once I finish Cambridge is to interview, well, I say interview, um, have a chat with all of my friends that did different degrees here because mm. in the... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you just went... <clears throat> you need to start again because I feel a bit awkward just sat in the back. This is prime because I can just zoom in on you. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do some like videos with people that uh, did different degrees here at Cambridge people if I can get to some time. Quite good enough, really. No, you're not good enough. <laughs> <laughs> no, but what I was going to say is I'm also going to interview Victoria as well about no, her. It's all right, I, I am going to interview you um, about her chartered accountant um, exams and things because I know a lot of people that do maths and those that watch my channel also like to to go into accounting so I thought that would be a good thing to put on my channel but for now we are going to do some maths I'm going to tell you what I'm doing today this is another shot I've also had coffee mm. I've reintroduced coffee to my diet and Victoria and David can probably vouch for the fact that I am much David. more David <laughs> David watches my videos so he'll be pleased about that hi David um <laughs> David <laughs> David is my friend from Leeds as well, who yeah, I know watches my videos. I'm sorry, <laughs> David's better than you. So as Victoria and Keisha can <laughs> and Jason can vouch, um, I've been a lot more energetic, haven't I? Yesterday I had a coffee from Sainsbury's that I didn't realise had three and a half cups of caffeine in. So yeah, I've been extremely energetic and, and joyful and stuff. Um, what I'm doing today is doing some active recall for my astrophysical fluid dynamics module which is on um, magnetohydrodynamic flows so it's basically looking at fluid dynamics in, in an astrophysics sense so you do a lot to do with kind of magnetic flows so what i've done is i've condensed the entire module into nine pieces of paper and my plan is to do this for well i've done it for every module and then i'm actively recalling this entire thing so nine pages doesn't seem a lot but when you zoom in on this i've like written two on one line but this is just my way it's something that i'm doing new this year because i normally do cue cards but i found this is a bit better to get a whole understanding of the module so yeah and that's just me writing out like roughly what's on each page from memory and then i just randomly um choose a page and off my memory and just try and write everything down so that's what i'm doing at the moment and then i'm going to start doing some past papers soon once i've kind of got a basic understanding of all of my modules and that i can active recall them so that's fun I'm doing past papers, yeah. I'm doing a bit of tax today. Tax, that's lovely. I'm looking at you. That's fine. Adds, a, adds an effect. Jason, what are you doing today? Literature reviews. Literature reviews. So interesting. But okay. Not as interesting as my maths. But... Yeah, not quite as interesting as astrophysical fluid dynamics, I'm sure many of you can appreciate. 
Yeah. You better get on with some work. I'm going to get on with some work because I've just talked for 10 minutes on nothing. So, yeah, I'm going to do some active recall. So, I'm going to set up the video and we'll do some work. So, this video will be a bit of a mix between voiceovers like I'm doing at the moment and just general talking on camera, as you saw at the beginning of this video. I will admit, for the voiceovers, I have not had three and a half cups of caffeine this morning, so I'm not quite as energetic as I am in the live videos, but I thought I would explain what I was doing during the time lapses. So, as I said, I'm doing some active recall at the moment, and it's an approach that I've taken differently this year. So, ordinarily, for my maths undergrad, I would write cue cards, and what I would do on the cue cards is go through the entire lecture notes, write out formulas, write out proofs that I needed to remember, and then actively recall them through cue cards. Now, I spoke to a couple of my good friends at Cambridge who said that studies have shown that actively recalling, just generally writing out on a piece of paper is better than cue cards. So that was an approach I was taking this year. As you've seen, the very condensed notes. Before every exam, I was able to rewrite the entire set of lecture notes from memory. Now, I don't have a photographic memory, so this took a lot of doing, uh, which is why I had to practice so much. Not so few we kind of went over our five minute break, but we worked for 55 minutes. Oh, we went over the break. Yeah, that was the five oh. minute break. That's it goes, it goes blue when you've got a five minute break. And we planted a red carnation. And you can plant loads of different ones. This week we've done 50 minutes. And you can plant... Oh, Kate, my sister's been doing some planting. Let's make it Sunday. Um, and look who Which came to app? join us. Which app do you use? Use Flora, because it's free. So what I started doing was writing out everything that I could remember off the pieces of paper for my exo... That's meant to say exoplanets, but apparently it says explanatory. Interesting. Um, yeah, and basically just made sure I remembered each of the pages. Uh, there were some things that I forgot, but all in all, I'm quite happy with it. And then I moved on to my dynamics of astrophysical disks, and these are all the notes for... These are all the very condensed notes, as you can see. It's quite uh, compact, but there's 11 pages. And I started by writing out the first page, like, rough, and then hit all my notes and did the same on the other side and managed to get most of it correct, so I'm happy. And now we're going to take a break. Keshav is working, Jason is working, Victoria is having a break with me, so what better way to take a break than to distract these two? <laughs> oh, that didn't make the key. You need like a stunt double, Ellie. No, I, hey, I did my own stunt, Sam. Why are you doing it to hold the camera? I can't aim at all. Be careful, there's beer here. So after nearly getting beaten up by a football and all of my friends, um, I went back to doing some work with Victoria. So again, I was just doing some active recall for my Dynamics of Astrophysical Discs module. Now this is one of the modules this year that was worth less credits. So at part three, the way that it works is ideally you're supposed to take between 17 and 19 units and each module will either be a two unit module or a three unit module. So I ended up taking 17 units and I had an essay, which was worth three units. I had my dynamics of astrophysical disks, which was worth two units. And the rest of the units were made up with three unit modules. So this was the module that didn't count as heavily. So it was worth less units, but it seemed to be the module that had the most to remember, most kind of active recall when I condensed my notes. It was the one that had most pages. Um, and those pages were very heavily condensed. So it was a module that I had a lot to remember for, despite it being only two units, so two thirds of what a three unit module would be. But I must admit it was one of my favourite modules this year. And if anyone is going on to do part three and fancies a bit of astro, then definitely take this module. It was so cool. 
We then went on a hunt for food, so we decided to head to the market and we went through the small door. Now I'm going to leave the raw footage of me talking because all I do is talk rubbish and I don't realise it until it comes to edit my videos, how much I just talk. So I'm just going to let you listen to everything that I was saying whilst filming. Where's the sun? Yeah, do you remember that? <laughs> People that watch my videos are just going to see the same things over and over. It's variety you know and also it's summer so it's nicer yeah. like an actual tourist today which is quite nice oh. sorry i just saw a bicycle. yeah let's cross sorry i'm sandwiching you here cute 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 right where shall we go oh no my battery's gonna die my battery's gonna die. Oh yes, I see. Very nice. What's this place called? Is it? Is it? Sorry, I'm just getting the wisteria. My camera's. Which way are we going this way? Your eyes are always closed. Right, I've just got to get all this in before my camera dies. So after having some really, really nice food from the market, we then sat down and got some more work done. And again, I was just doing active recall. I tried to split up some of my days where I would spend one day just actively recalling everything and then the next day would be purely past papers. Now, I've learned a lot of do's and don'ts from doing part three and doing a master's at Cambridge and I'll be releasing a video explaining what I would have done differently leading up to my exams and yeah, what things went well. So if you're interested or just generally want some advice on studying a master's in maths or just generally any, any subject, then be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on that video. But as I say, today was just purely a day of remembering content for my Dynamics of Astrophysical Discs module. So, that's not. Um, hi, I'm, I'm Janal. I live, study here at Law PhD. Is, am I doing okay? You're doing amazing. <laughs> Adrian, I haven't introduced you, both of you. Hi, I'm Adrian. What I'm do you do? PhD at Cambridge in machine learning. Very cool, very cool. Am I still in? <laughs> <laughs> so after I introduced you to Janal and Adrian, who are both members of Sydney Sussex as well, which I haven't mentioned in this video, but I always put it in my descriptions of my videos. I am a member of Sydney Sussex College, which is, as I say in all of my videos, such a great college I'm so glad I got put in here and yeah it's made the experience of Cambridge just incredible for me so once I introduced you to my friends I then got on with doing some more active recall and remembering to take breaks is really important because something I find with active recall it almost channels a different part of my brain or that's how I feel anyway it's something that is very mentally tiring trying to retrieve information from your brain although it's really good that you can then do that in an exam. It's also very mentally draining. I'm sure anyone that has done an exam before and trying to remember everything, you know, for me, I come out of exams with headaches, just having been, you know, used my brain so much. So that's why I thought it was important to take breaks as well, just so that I was being efficient with my active recall and not completely burning myself out. Good day of studying. Good day of studying. He's doing Tetris. I think it's a bit wonky, but I have to do. Can you see here? Is your head just cropped out? <laughs> Is your head <laughs> cropped out there? I'm going to use some toilet roll. Nice. What do we do? Even then? Is it still? Can you still move back a bit? Got right here. What do we do? I don't know. How <laughs> Ready for a fall. And then you run no, you run up like this. Huh? You oh. run up to it. What do we do? <laughs> <laughs> do an alien and you like. Oh yeah. <laughs> do you want to try my girl on? Should I try it on? Yeah, go on. It's gonna blend in with your jumpy top. Yeah. It's quite heavy. 
You're so much taller than me. It's <laughs> like not. What are you doing, Ellie? She's vlogging. I'm always vlogging. I think it's better if I'm not vlogging. Yeah, I'm going to put another one. Yeah. How high is the slide? Thing. I don't think we've seen right here. Oh, look at it. Oh, no. About 30. That's outside of like. Yeah. <laughs> I oh, I was moving his head. I was putting it, putting it over to. Jason Said. Hello. Say good night. Good night. Oh.